to start after that. Um, I, I want to first start by saying how incredibly proud I am of the two, uh, the two guys sitting next to me. Um, they've been the heartbeat of our team all, all season. And um, two undersized guards that embody everything that I want our program to be about. And I told each of them separately after the game that if I could coach the two of them for the rest of my career, I would do it in a heartbeat. Um, they embody everything of what competitors and true student athletes should be. As for the uh, for the game, you know, I thought we showed a lot of resiliency. Did not start the game with good enough urgency on the defensive side of the ball or on the backboard, and I thought Gonzaga came out hungry. Uh, credit to them. I thought they played a really solid game in every area. Um, you know, when preparing to play them, you have to pick something that you're willing to live with. You know, and, and going into the game. Um, we were playing a little bit of the percentages, a little bit of the numbers, um, and credit to Anton Watson, credit to Ben Gregg with the way that those two guys, you know, they made some threes in the game, uh, and I thought that was a separator, you know, and going into the game, when you're playing a top 10 team in the country, you have to kind of pick your poison, um, and credit to them for kind of taking what the defense gave them. Um, all that being said, you know, we had that game down to a one possession game. Had two, I think, two possessions where it was a two point margin and just could not get over the hump in that segment. Um, and I can't say enough about just how proud I am of not only these two guys, but every guy in our locker room um, for the resiliency that they shown in the fight. You know, it would have been easy to lay down after starting the year one and five in conference. And these guys stuck with me, uh, largely in part, not because of me, because of the two guys sitting next to me. And um, I will forever be indebted to the two of these guys. Um, and trust me, the standard that they set will stay in our program. Thank you, Coach. Questions? Chris, uh You've seen both the teams playing tomorrow night a lot. What is the edge there that you put two games? What do you think will win that game? That's a great question. I'll leave that up to Vegas to decide. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a hell of a basketball game. You know, um, I don't know. I would say it's a coin flip. You know, but I'll, I'll be tuned in as disappointed as I am that we're not going to be participating in that game. Um, I'm a fan of WCC basketball first, uh, and I'm always going to be a proud uh, supporter of the league. And those are two great representatives of what our league is about. Uh, we play in one of the best college basketball leagues in the country, period. And, um, you know, I wish both teams luck. I hope it's a great game. Um, and they're going to be great representatives of our league uh, in the NCAA tournament. Hey, Khalil, it looks like uh, Coach Stevens took a moment to talk to you on the, on the way out. What, what did he say to you? Um, he was kind of just saying, Saying how good of a basketball player I am. A legacy I left here at the school. He says it's always been a pleasure playing against me for these last four years. He's basically showing a lot of love.
sounds like that. Like a hollow over there. Yeah, man. It's been a long five years. I gave my heart and my soul to the school. Out of countless hours, man. It's the only school that wanted to give me a chance. Play at the highest level. Get recruited out of high school. After playing at the top high school, playing in all the leagues, nobody wanted me. Went to Division II. I'm not working there. Nobody still wanted me. I want to give me a chance, man. So, it sucks. Hope it's not the last game, but I wanted to win so bad, man. Just to go through my team. Go through school. Everybody who came before me. Just want to give this program back to the winning program it should be. To what it used to be. <sighs> Any other questions? Still over the moment when you guys got within two, just go sit and couldn't get over a hump. What happened at that point? Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, they, uh, we just couldn't get any stops during that stretch. We couldn't get any, any stops during that stretch, and we couldn't make any baskets. I don't think we were executing well enough. Um, I think we got a little riled up in that, in that segment. And so we just kind of calmed down a little bit. We just let that energy get to us a little bit. And uh, we paid for it. Chris, you think we're going to have postseason yet? I sure hope so. I mean, I think with the way that we finished the year, um, I'm, I'm biased, but I think the two guys sitting next to me are two of the most uh, dynamic guards in the country. And I would hope people want to watch them play another game. Um, and selfishly, as their coach, you know, I don't want this to be the last time that I get to go to battle with them. So, um, I sure hope so. Anything else? Thank you. Have a great week. Oh. Yeah, have a great week. Do you get, like, when you got, yeah, I mean, I know you shoot a lot of things normally, mm -hmm. but were, was there maybe, I mean, being in a hole where we thought this, okay, this, if, if we're going to get back into this, um, you know, that's a good question. I mean, that's kind of how our team is built, you know, and uh, I give a lot of freedom to our players, and I think that's why they enjoy playing in our system. And I trust these guys, you know, not just these two guys, but our team. And, um, you know, I think the three point shot definitely helped us get back into the game. Maybe we shot a couple too many um, in some segments, but I'm going to live with um, our players being aggressive um, and being themselves. You know, I've never tried to change either one of these guys or Marcus. I want them being the best versions of themselves. And, um, you know, the three got us back in, I guess. It would have been nice to hit one when we were, got it to two. Um, <laughs> But as I said, we just we couldn't get over the hump and credit to Gonzaga. You know, we tried to change our coverages up throughout the game to try to keep them off balance. Um, and I thought in just that one segment they got pretty comfortable. 
um, in terms of attacking us. So credit to them. Is there trap? I mean, think, and I think when I got there too, then they started trapping the half court with that. Yeah, I mean, they were trying to. I think they were doing that for a majority of the game, trying to keep two on the ball and ball screens for for you know a hard hedge. Um, and I thought we got some good looks off of that. Uh, for whatever reason, in that segment, we were just a little bit disjointed. I think Ty's probably hit it on the head. We got a little, probably too caught up in the moment. Um, but we fought so hard to get it back to that point. And that's a learning experience for our team. You know, there's a lot of things that we'll take away from this. Uh, and it'll make us better in the future. Great. Thank you. Thank you.